G'day, I'm Clive and welcome. And that's Puss Puss. Different ways of increasing the warmth of your sleeping bag. Now I'm using the Snugpat Jungle Bag, which is the bag I've used the most over the last two or three years. It's rated to seven degrees Celsius. Uh, as a general rule, it that's quite accurate with what I've found. Now, when I used it, I was in a three-sided cabin cabin on the Bibbulmun track, and the temperature was around the seven degrees Celsius. Now, I wasn't warm, but I wasn't cold, but I was able to sleep. Now, I've taken it down below that, and video today is showing you how I did that and how or why it worked for me some people <laughs> it might not work for or some people might not think it will work but it worked for me these different things I have done to make this go down and I've actually taken it down there's two things I'm going to change on it or add to it to make it even warmer. But I've actually taken it down to about two degrees centigrade. Just by one thing, I no, by two things I did with this. So I added five degrees centigrade in temperature for me. Now, the first thing I did with this is instead of having the sleep mat underneath I put it inside so what that did for me was it created less space in the sleeping bag so there was less space for me to warm up it also meant I wasn't slipping off the sleeping bag and at the same time if I was moving around with the sleeping mat underneath this would be happening so I'd be losing warmth from this with it being underneath so let's get the first one done put that in there do you mind me Can you hold it in place then no pause Now, my belief with doing this is, as you can see, this is the Seeker Summit. Uh, I think they call it the, is it the ultralight? Or, let's have a look. Oh, the Air uh, Seeker Summit Ultralight Insulated. So that's about a 3.1 uh, R value. Now, this has got dimples in it and gaps where when you lay on it, it traps the warmth in there and helps you. Uh, uh, stay warm and warm yourself up and it's also got an insulation inside and that's the same on the underneath we've got them dimples there so now I've put it inside I've got the reflect or reflector therm I think it's called in this underneath the sleeping bag so that's not directly on the cold so at the same time as that is reflecting heat into that, that's coming through from my body. So I've got extra cells there being kept slightly warmer. Not probably not much, but slightly warmer with this. And again now when I lay on it and I'm moving around, yes, it's not going to be as warm as when I was laying on it, but it's going to be warmer than if it was on the outside. So the warmth in the sleeping bag is going to be kept uh, on the mat or in the mat, however way you want to put it. Now before we do any more, we'll concentrate on the sleeping bag. So now we've got the mat inside the sleeping bag. When I'm moving around, 
I'm going to be staying on the sleeping mat. The bag's not going to slip off it. And this is the jungle bag from Snug Pack. And one additional thing this has got that a lot or most sleeping bags doesn't have is it has a bug net. And it's really fine and it's like a no seal mesh on it. So just by using that and zipping that up, you're preventing heat loss. You are going to get some heat loss because there are fine mesh holes in it, but it's also going to reduce the amount of heat you lose. So that, if you don't mind having that in the winter, that is going to make it warmer in your this type of sleeping bag. So there's two things we've done now. We have this sleep mat inside, so as I'm warming, moving around, there's no cold air getting below the sleeping bag and getting to my back. It's using the warmth inside the sleeping bag, helping to keep the sleep mat warm, which is making you feel warmer too. And closing the bug net, and that's holding more of the heat in there. Now the next thing I did, which took me down to around a 2 degrees centigrade, in the same scenario in one of the shelters, and at this actually and that night I actually undo the next thing I'm going to be using because I actually got too warm at one point. And that is the bivy bag. Now this is a special forces bivy bag from Snog Pack. Nothing fancy but it's creating an extra layer to trap heat in. So the heat that now makes it through the sleeping bag and escapes is being held in by the bivy bag. And because this bivy bag is a little bit smaller than the sleeping bag, not much, but slightly smaller, it's made the area less. And this one especially is good because it's got a center zip that comes roughly halfway down. So let's slide this in to the bivy bag. So there, as you can see now, we've got another space between the sleeping bag and the bivy bag, which is going to hold warmth in there instead of escaping out into the uh, air, into the atmosphere. And also that this is windproof and water, but water resistant, almost waterproof. It will never be waterproof because it's open. But this material, I think it's got some, like, I can't remember if it's a five or a 3000 uh, water static head. But that's going to hold even more warmth in. So just by doing that there, the sleep mat we've moved to the inside has enabled us to be a little bit warmer. Using the bug net has enabled us to be even warmer. And now putting the actual bivy bag has enabled us to get even warmer. Now this is what I used. Uh, now there's one more item I used and that was Now two more items, I do apologise, <laughs> my pillow and instead of it just being a plain plastic one this has got like a fleece and a padding in it which made it even warmer when I was laying my head on there instead of it being laying just straight down on a mat or on a plastic or a bag so that made me feel warmer and the other thing which keeps a third of your body heat in is a merino beanie. Now I'm not going to wear this now because it's, what is it, 23 degrees Celsius in this room at the moment. So there we go, we've got, move the sleep mat in, one, um, the pillow will help two, the beanie will help three, and put the bivy bag on 
four ways to help feel warmer in a sleeping bag. Now, a fifth way for people who get cold feet, down booties. They weigh next to nothing. They squash down to real small size, so you really won't notice as much in your pack. And just having warm feet is going to make a world of difference. So that is what I have done in the past. I haven't used these in this situation yet, but I have used them in a tent. And they did make me feel, or made my feet warm, which made me feel warm because my feet were warm. Now there's two more things I want to add to this. And let me know if you've done it and how it worked for you. The first thing I wanted to add is, I'm going to move these out of the way, is the Cool Max, what is it? Yeah, the Cool Max fabric fitted sheet for the sleep mat. Now, this is really for uh, wicking your perspiration away from your body so you, in the summer you can feel more comfortable. But my thoughts are, if this is on top of the sleep mat, it's going to be softer and warmer for me to lay on. And it's also going to help trap the warmth in those dimples of the sleep mat. So let's put that, this on now. Now, I bought this, it's the large one, because at the time I was using a large sleep mat. But this one in here is just a regular sleep mat, but it can still be adjusted to fit. So there that is now, it's just another layer between you and the cold. But underneath there you've got the dimple, so as you're laying on there it's going to warm the air up between you and the mat and the sleeping bag and the bivvy and the ground. So what's that? That's we got one, two, three, four layers between ourselves and the ground now, which is all going to help just hold the temperature in your bag a little bit more or keep you feel warmer, just a little bit more each one. So I've got to try this out, but that's my thoughts. But just, I led on it the other day when I thought about it and I could, I felt more comfortable. Whether I'm going to feel warmer or not, I don't know, but I've, I think I will do because it's just a minute bit of extra layer and also it's going to hold the heat in the dimples, like I said. Now the last part I'm going to add to this, I've had for quite a few years. And to be honest, I've never ever, oh, I've used it once. Uh, but I had to get out because I was too warm. I don't know if that was because it was too warm to use it or the sleeping bag was too warm and I never used it after that point and that is the Cetus Summit Thermalite Reactor Extreme uh, and when I bought this the on the packaging it says it can increase the warmth rating of your sleeping bag of up to 15 degrees Celsius so adding that in there, there's going to be another layer. Now, there's no zip on this. The new one, actually, I was looking at, they've got a draw cord on the bottom, so you can open that. And they've got some places you can put your arms out and you've got your head, so it's all still around your body, excuse me. But I won't be using this for walking around or doing that sort of thing. So the fabric is quite stretchy, so you're not going to feel restricted or not too restricted if you do get that feeling when you're in a sleeping bag or anything. And it's also got a head area which you can do up, really small. So you've just got your little bit for your face in here. 
So, with doing this, I think I'm going to increase this down probably to about zero or maybe just a little bit below and that's Celsius, not Fahrenheit. Now I was looking at using one of my other sleeving bags which I've used and I didn't use it in the recommended circumstances but then again the temperatures that it got down to weren't at that point where they said it's comfort so I'm going to be testing that one a bit more but uh, I think this may be better weight wise it's lighter than the sleeping bag that has got a lot lower comfort rating uh, a difference of 12 degrees the other one's minus five, this is seven degrees Celsius. No, oh, that fits with plenty of room. Uh, all this space for my legs and feet. All that space, well, that's come off about two feet for my body. And I think having it this way also I'll make it easier getting in and out so the bag's not going to move around as much or get messed up because I think I do remember when I used this before let's get that open up one of the problems I did find was I was getting tangled up in it so there you go how I and how I'm going to use my snowpack jungle bag to temperatures below the comfort rating of seven degrees celsius and i'll let you know how it goes so down booties for the feet merino wool hat or beanie for the top bivy bag for the outer shell The bug net, which is built into the sleeping bag or the jungle bag. And the best part about doing it this way and using a single sleeping bag that is rated down low is you can adjust it to suit you. So if the night's even warmer, you just take a layer off or you unzip the a uh, bug mesh on your face or you take the lino out but so we've got the jungle bag the bivy bag the boots the beanie we've got a nice warm pillow to use for our head we've got the what we do we call this again <laughs> sorry about that the thermalite reactor with up to 15 degrees celsius We've got the mattress liner, which is the fitted sheet, the cool max. So what we've we got there, we've got the 3.1 sleep mat. That's going to make the bag feel warm uh, for you to be able to use it down to seven or a little bit below. And we've got the mattress liner and we've got the sleeping bag liner, the reactor, got to yeah, the reactor extreme. Then we've got the sleeping bag, we've got the bug net, mesh, the pillow, the beanie, the boots, and the bivy. And if you're going to use it, a tarp, which will go over the top, which will stop a load of the wind. So the potential is good. So I hope that's giving you some ideas of how you can make your sleeping bag warmer and how you can use your sleeping bag 
by just adding things to it to make it go further in the seasons, to make it more comfortable, just by adding the, the fitted sheet or the liner or a nice comfortable pillow or the booties, uh, what else, a beanie, you know, things you could take off, put on where needed. So it's a very versatile system. And the actual weight is, I think, nine, is actually lighter than using uh, the single sleeping bag up there to get the same results. So I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, and you're not already a subscriber, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell next to it and select all so you can be notified of all future videos. Hit the like button, a thumbs up. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much.